Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's quick video, I want to show you this cool M.2 NVMe in SATA SSC drive enclosure that Digimundo kindly sent me for check it out. I have already tested some uh, better performance M.2 NVMe enclosures and of course also much more expensive, but this one still got my attention because we can use NVMe and SATA based SSDs and that is pretty nice. So without further ado, Let's open the box and see what we get. First we got of course a small instruction guide. Of course also a USB-C cable with an USB-A adapter in one hand, very clever. We also get a set of rubber mounts for the SSD, an aluminium heat sink, and also a thermal pad to use with a heat sink. For the final, of course, the enclosure itself. And for the first impressions, I like the size. It has a small size, I like it. It is half plastic and half aluminium, looks and feel well built too. The other thing I like in this enclosure is how fast we mount an SSD on. Just slide this little plastic on top, remove the aluminium enclosure and we are ready to install our new SSD. And literally, in less than a minute, we got an SSD installed inside of the enclosure. As for the connection into the Mac or PC, nothing special here, just plug in the USB-C cable and you are ready to go. Just before we do some testing, here some specifications about this enclosure. Uh, this enclosure with the best SSDs should be capable of speeds around 1000 megabits per second with NVMEs and about 500 megabits per second in SATA mode. Available in three different colors, this enclosure also has another cool feature which is auto slip. Another cool feature is with this enclosure you can use 2230, 2240, 2260 and 2280 size SSDs. For now let's give it a quick test. I know with my SSD we should have half of the speed but I don't have another for the moment so let's try it anyway. And well, as you can see, my SSD is not bad in read speeds, but in write is kind of slow. But if you use the latest Samsung Evos SSD or Kingston ones, you should have speeds close to 1000 megabits per second, which is pretty damn good for a cheap enclosure like that. This enclosure at this time is around $20, I think, and for that money, I think it's pretty damn cool. This GG Moon enclosure is available on the link on the description below. If you have any doubts, feel free to leave it in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.